Welcome to Break Away from the Rat Race, a podcast series to awaken your entrepreneurial spirit and help you achieve financial freedom. On our show, you'll learn about investments and how to create passive income. Let's get started with your host, Eric Martel. Well, thank you, Carla, and welcome for another episode of Break Away from the Rat Race, uh, where we awaken your entrepreneurial spirit and help you achieve financial freedom. And uh, at the last episode, we discussed... uh, the importance of really paying attention to your living expenses. Our financial freedom is basically generating passive income that will cover these uh, these living expenses. So I think you need to be aware exactly of what these living expenses are. Uh, some of these living expenses you will notice are uh, somewhat uh, related to work. So if you if you're not working or not working as much, these expenses could be could be different, and also pay attention to waste. So these are kind of like the, the two things. But let's just hold on to to that for a moment, and uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the, the fact that to generate passive income, we need to kind of change our our perception. I mean, my parents were full time employees. And then when you go to university, I mean, we've kind of, uh, we've not brainstormed, but we have been programmed or we've been conditioned really to seek a full-time job, right? So that's, this is what's happening. And you really have to uh, not only break away from the rat race, but also break away from that mold that has been uh, kind of pre-program in our institution in a social acceptance as well i mean everything is about um you know oh i'm a i'm a vp of sales for this company and and i'm a director of this and all of that all these titles all these labels add social status that if you're an entrepreneur like myself what am i gonna say you know so i'm not i guess i'm ceo of i'm i don't know (laughs) So it's, uh, it, it is somewhat, it's somewhat different. If you're a CEO of a company that's, that, uh, you know, um, has multiple employees, then, you know, it's much more valuable or more um, socially acceptable, I guess. So this is where, where it is. And, and really, there are three ways to make a living. And uh, we're going to talk about that. And then we're going to talk about kind of where we need to shift in order to achieve our goal of uh, being financially free. So the first one is employee. So so a lot of people are, you know, most of the, the people that are working or to the working people are employees. They work for another company. Um, you can still make a good salary. A CEO of a company is still an employee. He's working full time for that particular company. Um, the issue with with that the employee is that your life, you're not really in control of your life. So you are working for somebody, somebody's telling you what to do, your job goes away, you don't have, you lose that identity, you lose kind of like control of your life. Also, you could be blindsided by not knowing exactly how the company is doing, you could be blindsided. So for example, you look at uh, Tesla recently announced a 9% uh, cut in, uh, in their workforce. Well, you know, you didn't know that, uh, but maybe, uh, you know, uh, Elon Musk still has a job because he could see, he, he makes a decision, he knows what's coming with the company and he can make the appropriate decision. Uh, the other uh, issue or characteristic of an employee is that it's highly taxed. Uh, there's basically, it's taxed at the source, the money is taken away before you can spend it. Uh, and uh, also there's really very few deductions that uh, you can take uh, but and you have to get these in order to get these deductions you have to pay with your after-tax dollars so it's a little bit harder than to get deductions uh, for that so taking at the sauce the source and then um, you know so it's, you get more tax than for example I mean there's a famous example about Warren Buffett and how he, uh, you know, he was paying less taxes as a percentage of his income than his secretary, right? So this famous example, and um, so obviously you don't want to get in that situation, uh, or maybe you want to get in the Warren Buffett situation. So, um, so again, limited decision power and limited visibility into what, um, you know, about the the. the 
how well the company is doing, how well your company is doing, and then limit a decision about your vacation, maybe how much vacation you want to take and all of that. So, you know, this is kind of uh, where we are. Uh, so why people become employees? Well, first of all, part of it is because you were programmed or conditioned to do that by institution, by uh, all kinds of uh, different organiz uh, organization and society, but also is a drive to safety and security. Right, so you have the job is providing with you have you have less things that you have to figure out. You don't have to figure out your own taxes. You don't have to have an accountant. You don't have to have a uh, you know pay for your own healthcare and this and that and the other thing. So the company takes care of all all of these hassles for you, and then uh, you get to uh, enjoy working for the company. Um, and I find it kind of uh, ironic because uh, at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, the employees uh, were being uh, exploited or taken advantage of by the, by the companies. And now we're seeing this, uh, this job being an employee as uh, a, a security blanket or a safety nest, uh, net, safety net, safety net for uh, for your job and your kind of like your security so I find that interesting uh, that, that we see it this way you know now obviously it's a little bit different anyway uh, next on the list is self-employed so there's a there's a whole bunch of gray areas with self-employed obviously you can be and most of them what I consider the self-employed is the one-man show so you have the one man or one woman one person show one driver that is everything revolves around that particular person and that person has the skills has the uh, the specific skills and, and and skill set really to make that company running you could have it looks a little bit like a company and it looks you feel a little bit like an entrepreneur when you're self-employed because you are legally organized you have an LLC you have an S Corp uh, you have you may have some employees and you feel like you're running a business you have a little bit more flexibility with your work schedule your vacation how much you charge for your time and all of that but even the employees that you have, they typically, these employees are, uh, they're there to really support your role. So the, the, the perfect example of that, I think is kind of like a dentist, uh, where, you know, the dentist is the one with the skills, the specialized skills. And then, yeah, he would have like a receptionist, he would have a, a nurse, he would have a diet, one or more dental uh, hygienists. Uh, but really everything is around uh, is around the dentist to support the practice without the dentist then you know there's no need for receptionist there's no need the nurse is not going to start a dental nursing office on her own and uh, you know the dental hygiene is the same so the the, the dentist is the one-man show and then he has like supporting roles to help with his practice uh, generally, in the in this particular scenario, the self-employed, you are selling hours. Um, so, which means that when you take vacation, when you're sick, every hour that you're not working is an hour that you're not making money. So, this is a little bit, uh, uh, you know, difficult. If you start doing that, if you start being self-employed, this is a little bit uh, difficult. Uh, I remember when I started doing uh, independent consulting. Uh, I didn't want to take vacation because uh, I thought, oh, not only did I have to incur the cost of the vacation, but on top of that, I had to incur the cost of not having revenue for that period of time. So I was completely stressed at the beginning when I was uh, I was taking time off. So uh, so there's a third category, and we're going to get to that in a second. But really, the, the these two employee and self-employed. When we're talking about the you know the rat race about rat race about having that hamster on that wheel that keeps running and not going anywhere, these two are are these uh, these uh, these roles or these ways of making money. Um, you know, you have to keep working as an employee to generate revenue the self-employed the same way you have to keep selling hours in order to uh, to generate uh, the revenue self-employed you have a little bit more uh, independence and you can change your skills and stuff like that but again if you stop working you basically are not 
driving the money. So these, the employees and self-employed, are really what I would call the embodiment of the rat race. And um, and what we want to do, and this is kind of. Uh, you know kind of break that mold and move away from that it's a little bit more difficult if you're a dentist you know when you've been the whole idea of being a dentist is that to have a practice and then help uh, um, you know help your patient I'm not saying don't be a dentist but I'm saying do and prepare for passive income and start building passive income so that you know you can make additional revenue so that when you want to retire or when you want to take vacation you still have money coming in so these are the two things that we want to kind of like you know break away from from that mall and really think more in terms of an entrepreneur and then and the goal of an entrepreneur is to build a business to build I'll, I'll just stop at that for now is to build a business and obviously there are a wide variety again lots of gray areas here but our goal for financial freedom is that we want to build a business that's going to run itself right and this is why i'm saying at the uh, during the introduction that we want to awaken our your entrepreneurial spirit uh, because it's really the first step towards financial freedom is to change your ma mind and your mentality so that you have to think about about running building a business building uh, a, yeah building a business that's basically going to generate revenue and run itself and then send you money uh, on a you know on a regular basis so in order to do that, in order to run itself, or obviously it's not going to run itself at the beginning, but you have to plan ahead. Whenever you're going and entering into the business, you have to set the processes, the systems in place, or at least have a plan to set the processes and the, uh, and the systems in place so that you can then delegate later on to an employee or to a contractors, self-employed, uh, to basically run them for you. So you pay these people to to manage some aspects of your business for you so that you can basically move away from it and then just um, focus on the cash flow and managing kind of at a high level right so you don't have to be there every day to run the business you monitor basically kind of like the progress and the status of the business and then make sure that you collect uh, collect your checks so so but um, so and this is kind of like the tricky part here is to really build that there's so many people that start in business and they end up being an employee to their own company um, so this and this is what this happens on the self-employed side but it also happens on you know people that start uh, start a restaurant and then they end up being a waiter uh, or a, you know being a waiter in their restaurant for uh, or a chef in their restaurant and not being able to uh, to really get away from the business and when they go on vacation the whole restaurant shut down so so that's not what you want to do you want to be able to uh, kind of build a restaurant build your business so that it runs itself um, so that's kind of what uh, what is important here and this is what I want to focus in this particular episode is really to pay attention to um, to become an entrepreneur and change your mentality so break away from that mold it is a little bit difficult to do that and you have to think differently but it is essential in order to achieve financial freedom that you you think differently and um, and you you really think of yourself as an entrepreneur you will not be able to unless you have a pension you won't be able to uh, to achieve financial freedom uh, as an employee uh, it's going to be very difficult as a self-employed as well and we'll we'll talk about that uh, as well when we talk about retirement uh, in a future episode how what the plan is what they have planned for you in terms of uh, of retirement so if you haven't too paid too much attention to how you're planning to retire or and all of that we'll talk about that in a future episode but um so that this this is the key here as an entrepreneur is to uh, change that mentality and then we'll talk a little bit more details about how to set up your business uh, so that it runs itself 
So until next time, so keep focusing on the on your expenses. Uh, so really pay attention to your, your expenses, list them out by categories and all of that. Look at your expenses today and look at what your expenses could be if you were uh, basically financially free and you, bas you, uh, you didn't have to work. You just received passive income. Maybe that would change something. Uh, maybe you would have to, you could move somewhere else. You could, uh, you know, and your expenses might change if you were able to um, to just not work and just receive passive income. So until the next episode, um, so, so talk to you later. Thank you for listening to Break Away from the Rat Race with your host, Eric Martel. If you want to share your story and experience with our listeners, please message us on Facebook at Break Away from the Rat Race. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and our podcast on iTunes.